Guys, guys, guys! Guess what? I don't. I, um, I can't be able to put it on here, but I just looked at the um, what is it? The Steam page, and it happened. Okay, okay. Do me a favor, everybody, everybody, just for a moment right now. Oh God, it's freaking cold. But anyways, guys, guys, just sit down, sit down, take a breath, just breathe. But I have some big information for you guys. Just sit down and take a breath. Don't say anything in the comments yet until uh, later or something, but don't be a jerk about it, because I need to tell you guys about it. Is everybody calm? Sit down. Everybody sit down. Georgie! Sit your ass down over there! Don't make me come over there. Sit Think. Hey, hey! Linda, sit. Sit. Okay. Anyways, everybody comfortable? Everybody relaxed? Well, you're just going to be totally excited when you find out about this. You might look on the Steam page, but don't look at it now! Wait until I have to Dishonored 2 has just hit Game of the Year! Awesomeness, the skate designs, and everything, it was just. Uh, oh, it made it, it made it, it made it. And they even gave me an idea for, um, I'm actually gonna turn this off right now. For, um, while I was playing, uh, Dishonored number one, I actually remember in a DLC a while ago, and I rewatched some of the episodes. There was actually, um, did you just turn off on me? My controller turned off on me. Anyways, there, um, when I was looking on there, I was looking on the, uh, what is it? Huh? I want to test something. I want to see how bad or good it is. I just want to test it. What happens? Hold on just a Sharpness. Turn it up high. Just what happens if I turn it on to just curiosity. I just want to see what happens. I don't know if it's gonna crash, but I want to see. Yes. How dramatic is it? I can't tell. I really can't. Other than that, the gameplay I heard is really that bad. When it's on high, ultra, and I don't think my system can take it. I I don't want to risk it. I just don't. I can't. I, I just can't afford it. Hey, the markings on this color are back. But I had to go back. No. Everything gets turned on. That I'm putting up to high because I deserve that. And everything else, yeah. So that's all I can do. That's all I can do. So yeah, we're just gonna leave it at that. The quality, maybe later. I might play it on my own free time. I might show you guys how it is. But I just updated the show this a little bit. Anyways, we shall continue. But on the thing I was going to t first, first let me say this. Well, uh, last week when I left, I was going for, um, wounds. Let it be. And I decided, you know what? Stealthy sneaky sneakers. Snickers like a sneaker sneak. We are going in. So I found a way. There was another elevator in here. There's this awesome little trinket. Elevator. 
See? See? See how sharp the things are? Playback after the final field test. bad happened, it wasn't my fault. Uh, probably he's on his way over there, I'm not sure. I wonder, does it get under your skin, knowing that Delilah is sleeping in your chamber in the Dunwall Tower? Uh, how dirty are we getting in this? Once he stops. No way. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. It went down, it went down. No, no. Everything was going good. Everything was going fine. And even he freaked out. I was actually trying to find it right there, but my aim is so bad. I need. I need to finger it out. Can't do that, can't do that. Load game. <laughs> That's not good. That's not good. He's not supposed to die. I I can't let him die. I can't just charge him like that. What did you do? Why did you do that? I need to send them all downstairs. That's my only option right now. I need to send them downstairs and have them kill each other. So, that's what I need to do. It was my bad, I swear. Come out and face me. 
Something tripped the detection rig on Julie. Make a note. Remove this playback after the final field test. This playback indicates some detection. I wonder, does it get under your skin? Knowing that... Come down! The boys. Good, good. Now stay down. Nothing bad happens. Save game. Save here. Please. Yes, you did! Go get him! Go! Go! Go get him! Go get him! Good boy! And a boy! Jenny, darling Jenny. Oh, darling Jenny, you're in for an awesome run by. This must be the electroshock machine Jindosh mentioned. Place them in the machine. There we go. Oh. Can't you even sleep with your mouth closed, you little. No? I think it was, um, I think it's Woodcraft and Thomas.
Isn't it supposed to be that much? Three? Lag is crazy. I think it's a sharpness problem. You know what? I'm gonna dull that down. Cause maybe that must be why. I wasn't getting this much lag before. Sleeping well, honey. Come on, up one. It takes forever! I was always wondering at first, how does he get up there? Now I know about that. Electroshock machine should work now. Yay! I got myself trapped in here again. Oh, fart knuckles. No!
Hold on, I'll be right back. Alright, let's see. So, we got the machine going, but now I'm stuck on here. Poor guy. And chat down here, how do you how does one get back up? Oh, there's a lever. Ow. Good, now I can now I'm lucky. Well, at least I know where this is. That's mine. They're dead bodies, why? This is unreasonable! We have enough. The electroshock machine should work now. Enjoy your little kabushkis. No, no, no! You don't know what you're doing. Anything? I'll give you anything you want. Stop! Don't do this. So much will be lost. An age of advancement. <laughs> Too bad it had to come to this, Jindosh. Hi. How are you feeling? You feel like shit right now? And if I combine the acid against a copper plate, it... What does it do? <laughs> I'm sorry, this happened to you, my friend. You look like shit. I knew that a moment ago. Does anyone know the answer? I had an idea, but it's gone now. <laughs> he had an idea. I'm very much afraid of what's happened. You can't have put me through that machine, but wait, what does it do? <laughs> wait. What does it do? Please kill me. Please make me die. Why? You're fun this way. Something glory, glory you. Something big is gone and I can't name it. Oh, you poor thing. I'm so sorry this happened. Hello? I believe I've lost something very precious. Please help me find it. Oh, I think I know what you've lost. You've lost the your other students will laugh at me now. Well, Maybe there'll be apple pudding at dinner. I would like that. Apple pudding, yuck. I'm listening to everything he's saying.
Now I'm just trying to find the last. I want to know what's back here. I don't even know. I must know. What was it? It's up one level, but I can't get to it. It's up one level, but I don't understand why. get over there, but I can't get over there if I don't know how. Uh, there's only one thing I can think of. But it's right there, and I don't even know what's there. Maybe I need to pull the button. I need to pull the button. I see. I had to get in there. Maybe I wait. <laughs> she doesn't do time unless I do this. Got in here. Got you. <gasps> there was a button in here the whole time. Oh my! God. Aren't we lucky? Now leave me be. What is that? Enjoy a little reading? I don't even know where I know I've read it before.
I'm not gonna risk it. I'm gonna head back. I don't want to walk through the whole thing again. What does that even say? I don't know. I'm not reading it. What? This is his traveling stuff. What is that? Oh, never mind. Let's go! <laughs> My territory now, bitches! Just in case you don't want to die here. One of the worst parts I remember is that there were witches down here after the guards were beaten. Actually, I didn't kill anybody or knock them out. I hope I'm okay. Oh my god. Most challenging and most difficult ones. Uh. All the way down, go for a little adventure. Oh. I'm surprised he doesn't slide when we go down here.
percussion. Watch your step. I hope you kissed your kids goodbye this morning. What? They killed them! Why? They just killed them. I didn't even harm most of them. To get by the dark one. Sneaking up the joint, getting the fuck out of here. Everybody ran inside, it looked like. It was possible. You must have a story to tell. Yep. I'll hear it back at the ship. Yes, let's, let's go. Then. Kill! We gotta get out of here! Oh shit. What? Wait, to kill somebody? Who? And, uh, detections? Well, shit. I have no idea how to be able to get through this part because Clockwork Mansion is one of the most difficult, uh, missions. I can't get everything done exactly as hoped. But at least I stayed on the good side. I didn't even kill anybody that I know of. I don't even remember harming anybody. Have I? Did I? I was staying on good! How? Why? Well, I guess we'll find that out some other time. Because, to me right now, there's technically no way of defeating that part without killing everybody. Hostiles, maybe that's what it means, is those robot creatures. Hey, there's a pot! I was gonna say, where's the book? Wait a minute. Why is our teacup here? Shit. I know. I don't know. I didn't even want to see. The void, but somehow different this time. 
sorry. Why? Because I don't want to see him. Tree hugger. I can pull you into this place. The outsider marked me long ago. I made you flee your precious tower and turned your father into cold stone. How difficult for you. But when I was young, sweet Jessamine and I were closest sisters, sharing a secret. Emperor Caldwin had another daughter, born in shame to a kitchen maid. Am I dreaming? If not, how is Delilah doing this? She needs to get out of my freaking head! games in the tower, but at night I'd go back to the servants' quarters to cockroaches and thin gruel. Oh. Emperor Daddy would visit and tell me if I was good. Next year I'd be old enough to come to court to be a princess. Then one day, pretty Jessamine broke something worth a fortune, and the spy master caught us. She claimed I did it, and he whipped me in the garden house until I bled. My mother lost her kitchen job, and that night we were out on the streets with no place to sleep. I didn't break it. Would you like to tell me your name? We were just playing. Young Lady Jessica, what's your account? It was her. Delilah's life. She broke it. Huh. <sighs> I mean, yeah, a little tiny break like that, but seriously, that that wouldn't take too much. Why? Mother and I saw the nastiest parts of Dunwall, ending up in debtor's prison. Jessamine died quick on an assassin's blade, but my mother lingered for weeks after a fat guard broke her jaw. They threw me out when she died. I looked up at the lights of Dunwall Tower and swore revenge. Washing bedsheets in a brothel, I painted on the side, until Anton Sokolov took me as a student. That's the polite word for it. I was crafty even before the outsider marked me, and survived the worst the Empire could offer. Now, it's your turn. Yeah, but why would you punish even Madame Corvo? It's hard to know whether my dear old aunt is telling the truth or not. She's not! She's lying! She's really lying! <sighs> She's taking it all on you. She took it all on your father. That's not right. I mean, it was Jessamine's fault, not yours. If Jessamine did that, of course, maybe she just lied an extension, and your mother was telling an honest truth. Maybe she was supposed to be honest, but she pretty much didn't realize it was going to go that bad. Honestly, it's not your when fault. I was young. The Loyalist conspiracy that kidnapped me also took Anton Sokolov. They brought him to the pub where I was being held. 
and locked him in a cage meant for dogs. And you know what? Sokolov laughed at them. He taught me lessons and told me funny stories. He seemed immortal. His mind shaped our age. That's changed. The old man I rescued doesn't talk much. He eats what we give him, groans in his sleep, coughs out blood. I thought he'd tell me the secret to defeating Delilah and saving the Empire. But I'm not even sure he knows where he is. Well, he's on a beautiful boat. Underneath the stars. It's pretty. So yeah, last the last uh, mission is a pain in the butt. Because oh. Mother, that wasn't a dream, was it? Am, Am I to blame for Delilah's bitterness? No. She's the one who orchestrated the coup. Our, Our decisions, decisions have weight. I, I feel, feel my time drawing to an end soon. I just want to see what this... Wait, I got a little something next to the thing. Please tell me! Thank you. Wait, that's right, I haven't seen anything yet for that one. It's something I should say to your face, but it's hard for me. Thank you for what you did. Bringing Anton back, what would I have done without him? Puttering around the ship, mumber, mumble, mumbering mumbling, and stroking his greasy beard. Beard? I wanted to find him on my own, but hearing what you went through, I'm impressed. Anyway, enjoying this battle from the captain's reserve? Good, good stuff. I got from an aristocrat waiting quick page passage out of Karnak a while back. You'll need it now. At an that Anton's is back. If you want, to, if you want to sleep, his snoring cuts straight through the blo the bulkhead. A oh, bulkhead, Megan. Oh, I really want to see if he sent back the letter. Anton. I want to see. Wilman sent back the letter. I want to see what he says. And why is there socks up here? God, I'm curious. Maybe I missed it, which I hope not. You still in his age? Sokolov's making better progress than I would have expected. Didn't it? Enjoy a little light reading because I can't read. No. Good to see you're still with us. Thank you for helping, Anton. Sokolov's not the only one making a rapid recovery. I'll be good enough to leave soon. There's a lot to do. Of course, unless the Duke falls, he'll undo my best efforts here. Then we'll have to make sure Duke Luca Abel doesn't overstay his welcome. Karnaka's key leaders are flawed for certain. After all, this is settled with the Duke, and the time of the coup has passed. Mm -hmm. Whichever ones are left standing could change things here. Consider that, as you come face to face with the Duke's remaining associates. I appreciate your thoughts on the matter, Alexandria. I didn't realize though that, that those robots I had to get past in some way or form without being detected. And probably thinking about it, three of them being defeated, those are the three hostiles that were defeated. And I was still detected by them. So that must be why. Chindosh wanted me to help him with a rather complicated problem. It would have enabled him to make his clockwork soldiers at a fraction of the cost. Clever man. 
He's not, not clever enough. What's wrong with people like that? A restless mind and an empty heart, perhaps. Jindosh would have snuffed me out as soon as he got bored. I appreciate what Emily did for me, freeing me from that place. Aww. I searched for you, Anton. I would have found you. I knew you'd try, Megan. They kept me going after they gave me to Jindosh. Aww. Either way, you're back now. I'm glad. Here we go. Anton, when I brought you back, you could barely speak. But it's been three days. They tortured him. His body is covered with bruises. Delilah has the throne, and my father is missing. This is Anton Sokolov, the greatest mind in the Empire. No, Emily. Megan is right. I can make electricity move from one side of the room to the other, but Delilah is beyond my understanding. When I came to Sir Konos, I meant to leave everything behind. But when the assassination started, I couldn't ignore it. By the time Megan and I connected the murders to the Duke, it was too late. The Crown Killer came for me. Aww. It kept me alive from my knowledge that I saw things. Jindosh often had a visitor, Brianna Ashworth. She's the curator of the Royal Conservatory. Yes, Ashworth is dangerous, as obsessed with the occult as Delilah. Apparently, she's working on a device called the Oraculum. There's more to her than either of you know. If Ashworth is one of Delilah's lieutenants, I need to eliminate her. Who knows what this device is capable of, or what she's up to. You pushed me! There's a spark in your eyes. Something other than hate, which surprises me given all that's happened. It'll be good to see the Royal Conservatory, even if it's closed to the public. Enjoy a little nap, reading, because I don't want to read it that much. <sighs> Meet me at the skiff when you want to set out for the Royal Conservatory. Alright. But, um, I still need to see if I can find that lit orb. I want to see if Wilman still cares for me! Cherry... Whiskey tumbler? What the frick? I can't find it! Mom's not doing too well. She brought the boat big time last night. I mean... Yeah. Alright. Why did I do that? I don't know. Um, I'm sleepy. Have... Oh no! Something's broke! Something has a broken it! Enjoy a little light reading? I don't know what it is. Oh, so let's go. Hopefully, next up, next time, get a little something from uh, our darling friend. We'll take the skiff. I don't want to bring the dreadful whale any closer than we have to. There is a small dock in Syria Gardens, close to the conservatory. That's as far as I can take you. Okay. Ready to go? Yes, let's go. Let's go!
Okay. There's a lot of silence and there's a lot of upset things that I've been making here, but... I'm so upset that last episode I didn't realize those robots count. I didn't kill anybody. There will be a Grand Guard presence outside the Royal Conservatory. Inside, be prepared for anything. Ashworth runs with an eclectic crowd. They'll be the real danger. Someday I'd like to know more about how you met Ashworth. I know you would. Trust me, Ashworth is important to Delilah. Which brings up something else. You might be able to exploit the Abbey of the Everyman in removing Ashworth from play. Turns out the Vice Overseer in Karnaka has been watching Ashworth from a hidden outpost near the Royal Conservatory. Check it out first if you want more options. Remember, if she's still working with Delilah, Ashworth is a grave threat. Thanks, Megan. See you soon. Yes. See you later, girl. This is an awesome part. But I'm gonna save the episodes for now. For just in a few minutes. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Please leave a like and a comment down below. What you think? Yes, the Clockwork Mansion did do a horrible, horrible job anyways. But we will do better next time on our silent run through. And we might discover more. But anyways, as I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Please leave a like and a comment down below. What you think? I'm hoping you're having a fantastic evening, cause I am. Keep on dreaming, cause one day your dreams will come true. Uh, hugs and kisses, huggles, and let us hang out in the next episode. Bye bye!